Great Tower, Veritol. It's big. The viewer grand. It's no secret that the narrative non-Parisians get fed about Paris can sometimes be a bit one-sided, so I thought I'd showcase some of the most comical one-star reviews I could find written about the city's landmarks, in search of an equally as biased, yet slightly more refreshing outlook of Paris. First off, the awe-inspiring Eiffel Tower. Stupid tower doesn't do anything. Just sits there, not allowed tourists. No steak, no cheese, nothing. Expensive and treated like meat. Not impressed. I had hugger expectations. Not pleasant. The tower is brown. Which I have no problem with. That was me doing a voiceover. That does not represent my personal beliefs in any capacity. Just purely too many French people. Next, the iconic Arc de Triomphe. <gasps> totally out of breath. <gasps> no elevator. Uh, the arch was too polygonal for my liking. Cheap piece of bricks, just like the road there. Bricky worse, cheap. Mid. I personally prefer Romania's Arc de Triomphe. But anyway, thirdly, the thinker. Bro, it's not that deep. Bro is not the bro, thinker. Bro, 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 now I'm going to compare the reviews of Paris's landmarks to the reviews of Birmingham, England's landmarks, which by the way is one of the most commonly hated cities in Europe. Most serene experience that I've had in a while. A divine place for worship. Drink, eat, oh, great pub, great meeting and academic. And that proves it, Birmingham is simply better than Paris. If you're planning a beautiful romantic getaway to the capital of France, think again, I know exactly the place for you. Come my house, I'll come out my house. I'll do some filming with Alia. Join me next episode where I showcase the nicest destinations in Birmingham, including Lifford Recycling Centre, our beautiful canal system, Moore Street Train Station, and Baguette World. Expired green chicken disgusting. Please don't risk your life for a silly baguette. The chicken was rubbery and grey. Wouldn't be surprised if it was rat meat in that baguette.